Hi, today I'm going to show you how to change a ball bearing on the Stiga Park Moor deck. And um, before we start, I should mention that I got this ball bearing from a place called kulagergrossisten.com and it's a Swedish company, they have fast shipping, good prices and if something goes wrong, um, they will help you out. And they didn't pay me uh, for this, I paid this like a normal customer, so uh, I'm just giving credit to a good company in here. So uh, let's go. This pulley here, uh, it's not very strong. It's made for from um, like thin steel, so it's not cast iron. So uh, when using a puller like this, don't use too much force, or it will bend here, here, and here. So if if you need more force, then you probably need to heat it or let it soak in some uh, rust. Um, rust oil, anti-rust oil overnight or something like that. I know this doesn't sit so uh, tight, so I'm going to use this one. See? No problem. So you see all these uh, filings that came out when I took this bolt out. I uh, didn't do that on any of the other ones. So it probably means that uh, the hole which this one sits in is damaged somehow. And uh, we'll see what we do about that later. As you can see, these threads are not so very nice. But good thing is they go straight it. Ah, come on, focus. They go straight through, so we can put a little longer bolt and a nut on this side. No problem. Since I don't have any hydraulic press at home, I will have to use what I have and uh, what I will do is I'll take this it's a piece of piping and put it on here and as you can see it um, this axle can go through it so I can put it up in the vise like this and try to press it out once it started to move it's usually much easier to get it out so I'm gonna try and hit it yeah As you can see, inside there's a small tube here and it is very important because when you put the axle back in, this tube connects the inner part of the bearings 
so when you press the the, the axle back in here uh, you, your support your support must be here otherwise uh, if you press it you can damage the ball bearing on the inside because this part here goes out and it makes uh, marks inside the bearing and we don't want that so make sure you have support on this inner part and then just press it back in with new bearings of course so this is the inner tube goes in there just push it out and then you can push the other bearing out when you put the bearing back just make sure to gently tap it in place and you can hear when it bottoms don't forget the inner tube so it lines up okay we got new bearings just have to put the axle back in and put it back together and uh, we're good to go To adjust the tube inside. Ah, see, no problem. Feels good now.